Hi everyone, I hope you all are good and doing well. So in today's lecture, we are going to continue our discussion on problems involving group efficiency. So if you try to recall, in last lecture, I had shared two problems based on type 2. In today's lecture, I'll be discussing one problem based on type 3 called as the OR problem. We'll understand why, why the name. But first, let's read the problem. If 20 men or 25 women working for 4 hours every day can complete a task in 20 days, let me first write down the data for you. 20 men or 25 women working for 4 hours every day can complete a task. Let's call the task as T. In how many days? In 28 days. In how many days? Let me call it X. Working for 6 hours every day can 60 men and 100 women finish the same task. The task value is same. So, if the first task was the same, then the other task will be the same. So, these are the two cases. Now, you know the formula. We can use this formula. Men into days into hours equals to total work to make two different equations for these two cases. So, if you read the first case, one interesting thing which you should note down, they have given you comparison of efficiency. What they are saying, the 20 men are equivalent of 25 women. If I want this work to be done by women, there should be 25 women. But what if I want this work to be done by men? Then I need 20 men. It means 20 men can be interchanged with 25 women or vice versa is also true. I 25 women ki jaga pe 20 men la sakta hoon or 20 men ki jaga pe 25 women la sakta hoon. It means we can replace 20 men with 25 women or vice versa is also true. 25 women ko I can replace with 20 men. Now guys, it is up to you whether I want to use a group of men or a group of women. The rest of the data will remain same. So uh, let's say uh, I want to use the group of women. So 25 women working for 4 hours every day can complete a task T in 28 days. This is going to be the first equation. Now guys, the challenge is, if you look at the second case here, 60 men and 100 women are working. So you cannot say that there are total 160 persons working or 160 people are working here. No, you can either ask women or men to do this work. But since in the first equation, I had picked the data for women. So I need to replace these 60 men against women. And for that only, we are going to use this comparison of efficiency. So dekho, agar 20 men hote, so, usko replace karne ke liye, I need 25 women. But in reality, I want to replace 60 men. Find the relation. 60 ka 20 se kya relation hai? Tum bologe 60, 20 ka 3 times hai. So, let me do the same thing in the right hand side. So, if I want to replace 60 men, how many women are needed? 75 women. So, in place of 60, I'll introduce 75 women. And now there is no problem. 75 women and 100 women total is going to be 175. So, if 175 women work for 6 hours every day on the same task, in how many days the work will be completed? Just divide the two equations and you can get your answer. So, let me solve it for you. 25, 1, 25, 7. 7, 4, 28. 2, 2, 4 and 2, 3, 6. And this T will be ruled out. So, when you take X to the other side, so, in the left hand side, you will be left with 8 by 3. What is 8 by 3? I think this is 2.66. Then how many days the work will be completed by 175 women? You would say 2.66. Now, if some of you are thinking, sir, is it mandatory that uh, the work needs to be done by only women? The answer is no. There is no such condition. Uh, if you want this work to be done by men, then you have to ensure for the second case also, the work will be done by only men. The work should be done by only men. And in that condition, I need to replace these 100 women with men. See, what I am trying to tell you, uh, if you want to solve this problem using the group of men, so I men ka group select kiya. It means, we women ko use nahi karenge yaha pe. So, 20 men working for 4 hours every day can complete the work in 28 days. If the same task 
has to be performed by these many people we'll do this later working for 6 hours every day so how many days will they take now the thing which you should note down is kyunki maine pehle case mein group of men use kiya to second case mein bhi we'll use only men so 60 men we don't have any issue but i i have to interchange these 100 women with corresponding men so please see this thing again this is what we are given with 20 men are same as working with 25 women humko kitne women ko replace karna hai you would say 100 women needs to be replaced so how many women are required first find the relation 100 ka 25 se kya relation hai four times so i'll use the same relation in the left hand side i get to know if i want to replace 100 women i have to introduce 80 men so in place of 100 just write 80 men and now this task is easy 60 men plus 80 you will get 140 so just write 140 here and even if you solve this the answer to your problem will remain same you can cross verify you should get the same answer 2.66 days so it is up to you whether you want to solve this question using the group of men or the group of women but then accordingly you have to change the second case so i hope through this explanation you are able to understand how to tackle the or problem so with this let's close the session thank you and have a nice day